Hey there, fellas. So, I bet you're probably wondering, because you've seen this bike in some Instagram photos that I'll be putting on my Instagram, Phoenician Local, and uh, my YouTube page here, my YouTube channel. Uh, I've done a couple videos with this bike in it, and I told you a little bit about, about it. Uh, but I'm going to tell you more about it, so this is going to be a main video about this bike. So, first thing I want to say, um, this thing looks practically new. Yes. Did I spend money on this? No. And that's the God's honest truth. I spent zero, zero dollars on this thing. Want to know how? Well, my uncle, uh, his name is Dennis. Okay. Which is not to be mixed. He's, 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 my uncle is Dennis Jr. And my grandfather is Dennis Sr. So my uncle is the Dennis Jr. But anyways, he knows, if he's watching this video right now, he knows who I'm talking about. But he works at the Shokan Junkyard, and uh, somebody dropped this bike off there, and they junked it because it had no screw for the pedal, one of the pedals, and the back tire needed to be blown up. That was all. Let me show you. Back tire, as you can see, is already blown up. Don't mind my bloody thumb, that's from another thing I'll tell you another time. Um, but back tire, you can see. It's blown up. I've blown it up. It doesn't seem to be leaking at all, so there's no problem there. And the only thing is what I was talking about was... Uh, back in here. The camera can focus. I hope the camera didn't turn sideways on you guys. Sorry about that. But you can see that bolt in there. That's the only thing that had to be put on there. Just, just to hold the pedal on. Um, those were the only two problems that were wrong with this thing. And somebody junked this thing. Look at it. This is a brand new bike. Like, if you went to Walmart or some other place, this bike right here, I guarantee you would have spent at least $100, maybe less than that. But still, I would think the tops for this bike, this in this good a condition, would be 100 bucks. Now, you're probably noticing that issue right there. Yes, I know. The American flag. I don't like this. I really don't. I don't like that. It's dragging against the tire. And now you can see my flag's wearing out a little bit. Yes, I don't like that. I'm not disgracing the American flag. I just don't have, at the moment, a way to set this up. The only way I figured to put it on there was to tape it right here and to have it waving in the wind. Afterwards, I realized that it was hitting the tire. I'll fix that in the future. But for now, for tonight, this is how it is. I will fix this in the future, though, but... I will fix that. Please, I, I will fix that. I'm not disgracing the American flag. I promise you. I love America. I love the American flag a hell of a lot. I'm not disgracing it. I promise. It's just, this is the setup for it for right now. Um, another thing I want to point out is this shock right here. This shock is amazing. Because if you go over any bump, like, say these right here, you see these ruts? If you go over this... With that bike right there, and you're sitting on it, this shock absorb any like bump that you hit. So as you're riding, like the seat will go down like a few times. Meanwhile, your whole bike's like shaking like this. This shock absorbs any bump that you hit. So that's a really awesome thing, and it also gives it a smooth, comfortable ride. So I think that's pretty awesome by itself. That this thing has a very nice shock on it. Another thing about this bike, oh, and to point out this is a mongoose, but look at this thing. Look, look, look at these, these welds. These are awesome welds. Look at this. This is a freaking awesome bike. Like, for a mongoose, yeah, it's a little muddy. Um, for a mongoose, though, this is, this is a freaking decent bike, especially for somebody just throwing it away. So, like... Freaking hands out to Mongoose for making an awesome bike. I don't know what year this one was made. It's an XR100. Lightweight aluminum, which is also cool. Shimano equipped. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's the shock. Um, but yeah, and then there's this sticker. If anybody's curious about that. I don't know. It's an always wear your helmet thing. Um, there's this. Shimano equipped. Alloy linear pull brakes. Hopefully you guys can see that in the video. I know some of my videos, things are backwards or lettering's backwards. I hope you guys can see that in the video. If not, I'll just add it down in the description of the video. But yeah, there's that. Um, it's a really good bike. It's just, it's made really well. I, like I said, I don't know what year this is, but 
Mongoose did a really good job for one of their bikes. And some of their bikes, I will say, are kind of kind of cruddy, I think. At least they're newer ones. And I don't know if this is a newer one or an older one, but this one I think is really freaking nice for a bike. Um, here's another thing is these things. Yeah, they, uh, they're falling apart. I don't know. I might fix that. Oh, look at that. Fell right off. But, you know, maybe I might fix that in the future with something. I don't know. They're kind of falling apart. That's, I think that's, that's bound to happen. Um, obviously you're seeing this rust here. This, I think, um, can be fixed easily. You just peel the paint off, whatnot, and, uh, just spray paint it with silver spray paint. Um, I'll probably shine this thing up, you know, uh, wash it off with a hose, uh, maybe shine it up a little bit and then, uh, sand this down or something and take all the paint off and then spray paint it with silver spray paint, I think will do the job. Um, another thing I like is this. That the blue, I love the silver and blue. This is a really nice look for a bike, I think. is really cool. Um, but the silver and the blue here, like this matching blue piece, I just, I think that's freaking cool. And how, how it's half silver here, and then the rest of it's dark blue. Like, I love, I'm really digging the dark blue color. It's Element Racing, I think that says. Yeah, Element Racing. So it must be a racing bike. Here's the logo. And this... Like, okay, I think it's a sticker, but still, like, this is on here pretty good. So there's the Mongoose logo. Bicycles, but look at that. That's a badass logo. I think. I think that's a badass logo. But yeah, this bike's freaking cool. And you know what's also great? These pedals. You see these pedals here? They have, uh, not only reflectors on either side... But they have the metal, like, they're not plastic. <laughs> and if you realize, a lot of newer bicycles have nothing but plastic pedals. Yes, the center's plastic, but they don't have metal outlines here. Or these tough ridges, and I'll explain that in a second, but they don't have tough ridges like these on um, these newer bicycles. So that's really great. And what's great about it is that not only is it good because these pedals will last longer, but using these grooves... I can actually have something to scrape all the mud off my boots now. Kind of like a rug mat of sorts. But I can finally scrape all the mud off my boots now uh, from walking inside. You know, that's why mama don't get mad at me. But, you know, yeah, that's just, I think that's awesome having these metal grooves here. Now I can, uh, you know, scrub all the, uh, not scrub, but, you know, scrape all the uh, mud off my boots now. So that's awesome. Um, this is kind of weird to me. I'm so used to having the kickstand in the middle here. But it's in the back, but that's that's not a problem. It kicks back. You would think it would kick back this way. No, it don't. I'm not going to show you now because then the bike's going to fall over on me. But if you kick it back, it goes this way. And it kind of like makes it like a sleek look. So it's like everything goes down this way at an angle. So when you kick the kickstand up, it points out this way. And it just it looks really cool. Um, uh, here's another thing. Oh, the brake pads on this thing. Oh, they're good. There's barely anything wrong with these brake pads. Look at these. Those are like thick brake pads for a bike. Look at these. These are the brake pads here. And they're still, like, they're basically new. Barely anything wrong with them. So there's that. Um, these things are silver. I like this. I like how the brake handle pieces that hold on the brakes themselves, this is all silver. So this could be shined up and whatnot. I believe these are aluminum as well, but it looks really nice. Um... Here's this. Oh, every bike has a reflector in the uh, rim. So that came with it, but that's every bicycle I think has that. And the uh, brake holders are in the front here too. Like I just showed you in the back. Yeah, they're up here in the front. And they can be easily removed as you can see with an Allen head. The camera can focus, Jesus Christ. Hang on, camera's being stupid. Okay. And all you can see is it takes an Allen head bolt, so you just put a little Allen wrench in there, and you can mess with them and whatnot, but they're good for now, so I'll leave them. Um, these are the brakes, and the gearing are, if it can focus, here we go, it's upside down, my bad, guys. It says Schwimano. I thought they were Schwing, but they're actually Schwimano. I don't know, I've never heard of Schwimano before. I believe that's how that's pronounced. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, put that uh, right down in the comments. How it's supposed to be pronounced. Camera's going sideways. I'm sorry, guys. This stupid phone. But, um, it's a, Jesus Christ, 7-speed rapid rise. These are 
Dulysis, I think that's how you pronounce that. But it's really cool because the gearing and everything is like all encased in like a plastic thing, which is really cool. I think that's awesome. It's almost like a motorcycle. Like it's got like a plastic cover, kind of like a speedometer type thing. I think that looks really cool. Honestly, for a bicycle, I think that looks really awesome. Um, but yeah, you know, it's got the little thing here. And all you gotta do, and it's on the sides. This one's here, and this one's here. So like, you know, I got my hand here, and put it sixth gear, seventh gear. I like to ride fifth or fourth gear, but you can put it all the way down to one. Actually, two, I think is as far as it goes. It won't let me go uh, any further than that. So I think two is the lowest you can go. But I like to ride in fourth or fifth. Usually fourth, I think, is pretty good, but there's that. And uh, this is, I'm assuming, I don't, I honestly don't know. I'm assuming, like, this is the traction of the, or the uh, tightness of the chain, I'm thinking. You can go all the way up to three, but this is really hard to pull when you go up to three. I mean, it's easy to pull back, but, like, it's really hard. You gotta twist it a couple times just to get it to three. But, yeah, there's that, and then you can put it down to second. First, I like to leave it in second. I think that's where it was at. If not, I'll just on the way back home. But that's pretty much it for that. Um, let me think what else is left here. Um, ooh, look at this, guys. Check that out. I'll take some pictures of that in a second. But this is about the bike. Um, let me uh, raise the brightness there. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing here is this setup, which is really nice, I think. Um, Mongoose or Shimano, whatever that is, and then there's that company name. Comfort 050 Mechanology or Technology or something. Um, but this is really set up nice, I think. And like I said, I like this dark blue color. It really matches up with the silver. I think it's really nice. And uh, it's got this plastic protector against the rim, which a lot of bikes usually do have. Um, and I, I just, I like that overall. I think that's really good. Um, there's this that says directional pulley. So I guess that's, you can go either direction with the uh, chain pulley on this. But it's a really nice setup. There's that. You know, every bike has a chain liner. This way it doesn't get caught going back and forth. It just runs through one direction here. And, uh, there's where the pedal is. And, uh, I don't know. I think that's it. If you guys want me to do a more detailed video on this bike, let me know down in the comments below. But, um, I think I basically covered everything. If not, let me know down in the comments below. But, uh, I think that's pretty much it. This bike's really nice. Like I said, all it needs is, is a good a good wash, a good uh maybe polish. I'm thinking about maybe polishing it. And uh, you know, clear off some of the rust, paint it silver, and uh I think that's pretty much it. So that was my review of my new mongoose bike that I paid zero dollars for. I got this bike for free from a junkyard from my uncle because somebody threw it away because it had a flat tire and there was no bolt for the pedal. Two easy fixes that somebody could have fixed and they trashed this thing. Why would you trash this good of a bike? Like, I'm using this. This is such good use right here. Great bike. It rides great. Like, this, this is the best bike I've ever owned, to be honest with you. But that's pretty much it, I think. And uh, that's my review of my new Mongoose. Uh, Mongoose XR100. And, uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'll leave you with that. And I'll see you fellas in the next one. I'm Phoenician Local. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, fellas.